What's going on, y'all? It's a uh, oh, week and recap of screwed up, stupid stuff, and I can't curse on this, and I don't have any alcohol to drink at work right now, and that kind of sucks. I keep telling my boss, I'm going to keep that bottle in the toolbox, and uh, they keep laughing. The one kept laughing, and I told him, listen, dude, I've warned y'all, I've warned y'all, I've warned all y'all take it as a joke, so that way when I do have that bottle in the toolbox, you can't complain when I crack it open midday and start slugging back, you know, shots. But, it'll get to that point. This does not go in that drawer. Does not go in that one either. But, they laugh, all that stuff. The only real way to get people to listen to you is to freak out and threaten just to pack up all your stuff and leave and never come back and, you know, find some property over in fantasy land and it kind of gets their attention, it rattles their cage a little bit, you know, I feel like I'm the only person running around like a chicken with its head cut off doing stuff and getting stuff done. I mean, I don't know, to me, everything's a bigger deal than what it is. Last Sunday, went to go visit family, um, got a phone call, hey, do you mind going by the shop? Not a problem. Well, I got back home late, you know, it is what it is. So Monday comes around, I had to go verify that stuff was working on a pump that went down. And uh, yeah, I got my stupid self up at three o'clock in the morning to be at work by four. Only to sit there and look at this pump and realize that people have decided to uh, rip the wires out of the harness. Well, no wonder it won't start. Rip the solenoid wires out. Awesome sauce. Then you get, you know, warm and fuzzy. Asked a couple people that were there at the shop getting ready to roll out for the day. You know, going out to their job sites. Do you know anything about this? Nope, I don't know. Great, thanks for uh, blaming my best employee. Poor I don't know. I, I don't get it. That guy's got such a bad rap. Everyone wants to blame I don't know. And it wasn't me. It wasn't me. He's another great worker, guys. I don't know why everyone keeps blaming those two guys. You never even see them. They just, they're that hard working. But everyone knows who they are. Kind of infuriates me a little bit that they're getting the blame. But it is what it is. So... Yeah, I had that four o'clock in the morning start, went back home, tried to go back to sleep for an hour or two, and uh, of course the puppy wants to do puppy things and drive me insane, so laid in bed with my eyes open, staring at the ceiling, hoping to get some sort of sleep, and of course, you know, 10 minutes before I had to get up at 6.30 to go in, wouldn't you know I fell asleep, and when that alarm went off, I just wanted to cry. Fun times had by all. I think everyone should experience that like on a weekly basis. Then, you know, we're something down a couple pumps. You got, you know, they're supposed to take two crews or two crews, take two pumps, all that stuff. That way one has backup, all that grand stuff. I don't even know what day it was. I think it was Wednesday. Wednesday sounds like a solid day. But uh Yeah. Had uh a pump fail. I can't remember what it was. Oh, I know what it was because I have it right here. This little guy. Bearing assembly failed on a uh, hydraulic drive motor. And the chains that turn the paddles, all that fun stuff. And, uh, yeah, you know, I'm like the white trash Superman. You know, I come around and start fixing stuff in the middle of the night. You know, that way it's ready to rock and roll in the morning. Like, Santa ain't got, you know, anything on me at this point. Come in at 9 o'clock at night, rock and roll for a couple hours. Get home all greasy and dirty at about midnight. Fun time, sad ball. Everyone should enjoy that. Thank God for music, guys. I Man, it's, it's pretty nice. I actually had one beer this week. I know. I'm a heavy drinker. So I had my one beer and that kind of was nice. My workstation's a mess. I have this little lovely uh, Hayes backing plate up. I don't know if y'all can catch that, but 
It's like throwing a hot dog down a hallway. You know, it's got some play in it. So, I'm gonna make a, a drive plate fail quick. You gotta be aligned, but yeah, so with all that nonsense of uh, coming in, I got to leave early yesterday, which was nice, and wanted to go take a nap, but uh, taking a nap in the afternoon just sucks. I can't fall asleep, my mind's going, so one of those things, I'm getting notifications. As long as it ain't work, I'm happy. I feel like the tools just never end. They just come out to play. But on a good note, you know, not only am I the parts guy, not only is this thing stuck on here, guys, bless America. But not only am I the parts guy, how in the world? I think I can get a screwdriver there now. But, as I was saying, not only am I the parts guy, I'm gonna just steer my hand and that's gonna be fun. It's gonna really cause me to start drinking this weekend. But, I am not thinking at the moment. Probably a lot better of a way I could do this. And who says a screwdriver is just a screwdriver, guys? There are a bunch of liars. It gets the job done, it gets the job done, and there's a warranty on it. But, and she couldn't sleep, all that stuff. Came in today, which was nice. I uh, had a couple of helpers in the shop, so I got a bunch of maintenance stuff done. Um, back to what I was saying, then, not just the uh, mechanic, the parts guy, I'm also my own personal secretary, so I get to handle all the paperwork for the fleet. And the email I get that task, I got something really cool. It makes me just love my life a little bit more. I got my very own filing cabinet. That was something else I was tasked to do, along with label all the keys in the fleet. And I gotta make a keyboard for like 20 trucks. So, and label all those amongst fixing stuff and Organizing and setting up my, my office, if you will. You know, I was really spoiled at my last shop that I was at this company. Because my shop had AC and my office was AC and I had a mini fridge in it and all that fun stuff. Not anymore. My office is maybe 20 feet, you know, away from my toolbox. I don't have anything cool to look at other than shears and brakes and a couple of concrete pumps and some racks. I don't have any place to put art, so I'm gonna have to really start doing something with this. I think I'm gonna put googly eyes on this little guy because I think that'd be pretty fun. So yeah, it's been a fun weekend really testing my uh, patience and ability to uh, deal with stress. So uh, yeah, there's definitely a couple times I wanted to pull my hair out and just scream. You know, you know just screaming into the void. Just, such a fun thing. I think these are the new ones I bought the other day when the tool truck came around. So, uh, hey, if not, while well, they're going to the roll cart now. So, yeah, screaming in the void is such a great thing. You just got to keep that mental hygiene up, you know, kind of kind of just walk away or just freak out sometimes. It's okay to let yourself, like, just blow off steam. I mean, you just... If you're gonna sit there and holler and scream and yell and cause chaos and confusion amongst your peers, don't direct your anger at anyone, like, because that, that's gonna create bad blood. You know, just just let it ride out into the distance. Don't don't hurt anyone. Or, look, do not hurt anyone's feelings. It's not worth it. I mean, I work with a bunch of great people. Granted, I do have people, like I said, pulling wiring harnesses out for. God knows what reasons. I mean, you know, you tell me people, I am the mechanic, you are whatever, the workers, the, the guys out in the field, I'm not going to come to your job because I have no clue what I'm doing. Don't 
Don't ask me to play with carpent or carpentry stuff or concrete stuff or whatever. I'm no Bob Ross at it. I will screw that stuff up in a heartbeat. Like tools works perfect. Figuring out things that should be moving and not moving, I can fix that. Things that aren't supposed to move that are moving, I can fix that. But concrete, lumber, y'all are a different breed. Y'all can have that. Same with toilets and electricity and stuff like that. That's all y'all. I will not wear that hat. I'm down to learn. Definitely down to learn, but uh, I'm not professional. So therefore, I'd rather call professional or me being the person I am, I have a lot of friends that are professionals at those things that I could simply call up and, hey, walk me through this or come over to my house, I'll give you beer and money, you know, whatever's clever. But, <coughs> <coughs> going back and forth with engineers, fighting about drawings and stuff like that. It, it's just been a week. And it feels like I've been on the phone so much and playing with paper and pen. I feel like a real clipboard warrior, guys. I mean, next thing you know, I'm going to start spewing safety nonsense to the guys I work with and tell them how they need to live their lives at home. And guys, you know, drugs and alcohol are bad. You should never do that. Yeah, yeah right. Y'all want to have some uh, powdered Red Bull and do whatever at home? By all means, go for it. Y'all want to uh, hit the fun little pipe? Go for it. As long as you ain't hurting nobody or yourself, I mean, have at it. I ain't gonna knock you. I mean, you gonna play with uh, crystal meth in you? I mean, hey, that's your cup of tea. I ain't gonna argue with that. Am I gonna do it? No, probably not. I mean, but, you gotta have fun in life, I guess. I love this bit. But, yeah, so definitely when you get irritated, frustrated, and all that stuff, guys, definitely know who to take your anger out on. Like, try not to direct it, people. Luckily for me, I have a great staff I work with. Great boss. If he sees me getting frustrated, he'll sit there, jug around, and tell me to take a break, whatever. I appreciate that. So, I mean, you know, hopefully you all have decent management. Thankfully, I don't have, like, clipboard warriors roaming around telling me what to do, how to do, and... You know, where to do it at. Because I would tell them something that you go take and jump them over the sun don't shine. I'm, I'm not a fan of clipboard warriors. I don't like safety Nazis. Well, you kids probably going to get pissed off because I said that. I can't say that word. But, you know, life's life. It, it's just been one of those weeks. I hate getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning. If it was up to me, I mean, if, if I was single, I'd probably be cool with working nights, but I'm not single. That doesn't go in any of those drawers. You know, so I'm not a fan of nights. I like being home with my wife, you know. I like to sit back, watch the sunset, drink beer, and relax, but that doesn't happen all too often. But I do enjoy making content for y'all fine folks. I mean, I love y'all. Uh, sit there and help me out with this channel. And, you know, fun to interact with. I know I've got to get back with some of y'all on some previous comments, all that fun stuff. But uh, I've been busy and running around and tired and all that nonsense. It's, it's not a fun thing. But after I film this and post it, I'll probably, uh, I ordered some things. We'll leave it at that. And it's for the roll cart. And my first roll cart video, which was the first video I posted, I went back and rewatched. And not only was it filmed the wrong way, but I feel like I had no energy in that video. I had, it was my first video, it was kind of like, what am I doing here? And it sucked. It's okay, like if y'all wanna go back and watch that, it's the first video I posted, it sucked. But, I'm going to do an updated version of how I have the roll cart set up now, a little bit more energetic and happy and excited to talk to y'all fine folks because I've got to know y'all. There's a lot of y'all that I'd like to actually sit there and have a beer with. So that's pretty cool. But uh, do a roll cart video and then we're going to do another video on organization. So if that's a hint on what's coming for that, because who doesn't love more tools? 
I figure I need I need more reasons for the wife to beat me. So more tools will be coming for that. I want to get this thing as slammed full as possible. Granted, it's not going to happen overnight or in the next month. I mean, over time, it's going to fill up, you know, like any toolbox. But, you know, I'm, I'm excited to get this thing organized to the point where I have more room and I could fill it with more stuff. That way I could utilize it more, I guess, if need be, out back behind the shop or out front, you know, depending on what happens. I just hate having to walk back and forth. I'm fat, guys. I don't like to exercise. I don't like to walk. I mean, granted, you know, gym's kind of nice every now and then, but yeah, that's the time I just want to exercise by, you know, tipping that beer can back. Thinking, uh, nice hard drink tonight. Be really been wanting like Canadian whiskey lately. I don't know. It's got like a, a taste to it that I just want. So uh, I'm thinking, I don't know. I'm thinking, I'm going to go by the liquor store. And I know on the Facebook page, I asked y'all about some of what y'all drink, and there's a few things I'm tempted to try. So I, I haven't made it anywhere really in the past week. I think I've been at my family and at home and just running around for work, so it kind of sucks. But it is what it is. Guys, I thank you for watching. I'm going to finish cleaning up, and then I got some paperwork to do and all that fun stuff. And then I'm going to try to get the roll cart video up and film for the icon tech in and gear wrench video to let y'all know my month thoughts i've kind of been behind on that but that will be coming up hopefully either tomorrow which is saturday the 18th of february or probably monday we'll we'll see what happens so guys thanks for tuning in thank y'all for all the support and love you're showing uh Keep branching and take it easy.